All right, so uh, let's look at another uh, duplicate and freeze option. Um, this is a kind of a favorite one of mine because, you know, in the real world, uh, most items, hardware, hard surface items, if you will, uh, are not constructed of a single uh, piece of material. They're usually constructed of uh, various parts that are snapped or glued or bolted or whatever together, uh, you know, to make a more complex form. And that's kind of a, uh, a natural thing to do uh, with mesh fusion. And it also has some mesh fusion modeling advantages because when a complex model is broken up into several fusion items, uh, there's less of a performance drag. You can get, you know, some uh, performance uh, slow down with really complex fusion items that contain many, many source meshes. So to give you an example here, we have a very nondescript, uh, simple little uh, fusion model here made of some flex fuse primitives. And we have this cylinder here, which is a subtractive element. So the idea would be that I want to continue this model uh, with another fusion item, and that fusion item uh, will have a part that fits into this cavity created by the cylinder. So uh, the best way to do that, if you want to maintain uh, maximum fusion flexibility, is to uh, take that mesh and use the merge mesh push dupe option. And uh, what that does, go ahead and fire it off here, is it creates a new procedural mesh. And that procedural mesh, we will get its mesh ops, has a merge meshes op, and the source is that cylinder mesh that was our subtractive mesh here in this fusion item. So it's taking that as a uh, input, as a source for merge meshes, and this new procedural also has a push influence mesh op which simply allows us to um, vary the fit, how loose or tight we want this fit. For example, if I were to go to that push influence and give it a negative value, you see our duplicate, our copy, is now smaller, um, and it fits still, of course, fits into that cavity, but more loosely. So that just allows us to control that fit. But the, the more uh, central idea here is that uh, we have our um, duplicate that fits into that slot, and we could go ahead and build on that, use that as a, uh, use this uh, new duplicate mesh, and you've got to be careful here since they're both together, make sure you're actually selecting the duplicate. Uh, we have that duplicate mesh, and um, we can make that a new fusion item. So now we have two fusion items, move this out of the way just to keep our fusion items together here. We have two fusion items, our original one, which I'm hiding there, and this new one, which fits into the cavity. And the nice thing about using this, this particular option, the Emerge Mesh Push Dupe option, again, you have to imagine we're building a more complex fusion item, so we would be adding things to this second fusion item. But uh, in any case, um, the fact that it's a, uh, a merge mesh a duplicate means that we're free to do anything we like with the original uh, flex fuse item. For example, um, I could select its frame and uh, go to edges here, select an edge and uh, move that edge. And our fit is maintained uh, between the uh, original and the duplicate. And of course, that will carry through for uh, all kinds of things, including uh, if we go back to item mode with the frame and simply move the frame, transform the frame, same thing. The cavity and the new fusion item uh, continue to match.